some of you might be getting ready to take a flight for the holidays, but we are having food and wine flights here on Midday instead. Heading to Greer to experience House 509 Bistro and Wine Bar for Midday Eats, a perfect spot to impress any out-of-town guests this Christmas. And joining us, as always, is Big Dave Eats himself. Oh, yep, yep. And we're going a little fancy today. Yeah, th th Haley, this place is amazing. The concept is, like, out of this world. You, you know, just just to kind of put things into perspective, every you go to a restaurant, you look at the menu, yep. and let's say like you go and you say, well, I want to try the chicken because the mushroom wine sauce sounds so good, um, but then I want to try the salmon because mm -hmm. it's a bourbon flavored salmon. No, I want the filet. Well, listen, this place, they do all of it for you and they pair wine up with each dish. It's phenomenal. They take the guessing work out oh, yeah, of it. They'll yeah. do it all for you. Oh, yeah. Well, we did map it out for you here. It's at 100 Wicker Park Ave in Greer. And we're going to get into the specifics in a minute, but normally I hear of drink flights. Mm -hmm. They have food flights. Yep. Have you ever encountered that before? First time. Okay. First time, yeah. And, and a lot of... I was doing a teaser over the weekend, and some people were saying it's, it's a tapa style, but that's not the case. Tapas are smaller portions. These portions are big enough to say you... They are huge. Yeah, you can go on a, a date, or or you can just split it with someone, yeah. and it's more than enough. It really is. Absolutely. Let's go over our Midday Eats menu for today. We're going to have some Pinot Grigio. We're mm -hmm. going to have some baked brie, shrimp and grits flight, and then the House 509 flight. Mm -hmm. We got to start by heading to the bar, mm -hmm. and uh, no mule today. No mule today. You ventured out. You yep. got some Pinot Grigio. Mm -hmm. What were your thoughts? Now, um, I, a little bit of my background. I'm used to Boone's Farm, uh, Mad Dog 2020. These are the wines that I'm used to. So I'm a complete novice when it comes to wine. Mm -hmm. I told them all this, and they said, Dave, we got you. And I started with the Pinot Grigio, and it was amazing. Like, I literally went and bought a bottle of Pinot Grigio when I left. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They, yeah. Big Dave has brought in his ride. Like, they really did help me out with this. So, so. you gave it a thumbs up. Oh, yeah. And also your wallet out. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. What I'm hearing from this glass <laughs> of wine. It was a hit. Oh, yeah. And then moving to appetizers, wine goes great with cheese. Oh, man. Talk to me about this caprese baked brie. Oh, my goodness. The brie. The, the thing that I, I love about brie oh, it looks is. So good. Oh yeah, and and when you really you you take the spoon or fork or even the bread, um, and you just bust it open, and the, the yeah. way it oozes out in the inside. Oh my goodness! This is with basil. They have a balsamic glaze on it and tomatoes. And I'm I'm telling you, when you get the balsamic uh, balsamic glaze on there, and then you get the tomato, it gives like a pop in your in your mouth. Your taste buds gonna go crazy. This is very good. That is a single serving size for me. <laughs> I love brie, and oh, yeah. that looks. So good. It's very, very good. Something else that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. This uh, shrimp and grits flight or scrimp. There you go. As you like there to call you them. go. Oh yeah. And you know they're <laughs> scrimp when they're huge. They are, yeah. And they are Look huge. Look at them. They're oh, definitely yeah. huge. Yep. There's three different styles here. Walk me through it. Absolutely. First one is a low country. Now let me get into this. Um, the owner and chef, he's from Haiti. So what he he oh, does, yeah. he's been in the culinary industry for forever. Graduated from Johnson and Wales in 2009. But anyway, his flair on uh, his take on the food is amazing. First thing you're gonna see is the Low Country, which it consists of bacon, garlic, tomato, and it's set atop of cheddar grits. And then um, they pair it with the Sauvignon Blanc because they give you the flight. You know, you can get the flight to go with each each dish. And they have a specific flight meant for this yes, dish. Yes, absolutely. Yep. yep. The next one. One was the Creole. Um, it has the, um, the the Trinity, the peppers, the onions. They have okra and dewy sausage. Oh, yeah. It's very, very good. And then that, that sets atop smoked Gouda grits. Now, anytime you have Gouda and grits and smoke, oh my goodness, I it's good. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh. Last but not least, the barbecue. This one was different for me in the sense that I've never had barbecue with my grits. Right, yeah. But the subtle yeah. sweetness on top of the cheesy grits, very, very good. And you can't forget about those scrimps because every, every scrimp was catered to each dish. It was amazing. And all the wines went nicely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Last, um, I had the, on the Creole, you had the Cabernet. And then on the barbecue, it was a Mel Bach. Look at you. You yeah. really are over there becoming a little wine <laughs> expert, Big Dave. <laughs> and then you finish this whole meal off with one of the most fancy dishes I've ever seen. There we go. Talking oh, yeah. about the House 509 flight. Oh, my goodness, man. They start off with a, a Coven Blanc, which is a chicken that's cooked in a mushroom, mm. a white wine mushroom sauce. And it's a chicken thigh. And they put it atop of uh, root veggies. I'm going to tell you something. All the way from top to bottom, it was amazing. 
Um, oh, and so each good. dish has a story. And you, you got to meet Chef G. Again, he's the owner. But he tells a story about his food, man. And, and, and it, just, it just ties in so well together. Like the next dish, the bourbon salmon, he made that uh, for his wife. And his wife, she doesn't eat seafood. But she <laughs> loves that. Now, okay. So much so he made it for um, his in-laws before they got married. Um, it's marinated uh, salmon. And they put it on top of the cheese grits, which was good. But last but not least... Haley, mm, that yeah. filet. Mm -hmm. Talking about this filet. Haley. I'm a Midwestern girl. You know I love a good steak. Glasses got to come off. <laughs> this filet with the chimichurri sauce. Yeah. Oh, my good. Tender as a fair maiden's heart. I'm telling you, that was an amazing. And then you get the, the chimichurri is house made. You can have the garlic, the cilantro. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, the House 509 is the truth. And again, they pair all of it with uh, the different wines. Right. So you see the wine flying in the background. There. Oh, yeah. I would say the cheat code is probably go by yourself, <laughs> get the flight, <laughs> and then take two of them to go because that is three meals in one oh, yeah. on oh, yeah. one food flight right it there. It is. Oh, yeah. Well, everything looks absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for absolutely. joining us. Have a Merry Christmas. We won't see Same you next you. week, so mm -hmm. Merry Christmas to you. Oh, yeah. Of course, if you are interested, House 509 Bistro and Wine Bar is located on Wicker Park Avenue in Greer. They're open Tuesday through Saturday with the patio and bar open at 4.30 and dinner service from 5 to 9. Of course, we have more information and past Midday Eats recommendations on our website, foxcarolina.com.